It's on a sad day note when we lost actor Rutger Hauer, who passed away in July at the age of 75. Rutger Hauer was one of those actors who can embody any role perfectly. That's how good of an actor he was. And The Hitcher was no exception. Now, although Rutger Hauer has a lot of fine acting film credits to his list, the chances are when ever I mention the name Rutger Hauer, they're going to say, Oh, that guy who played the Hitcher! <laughs> you know. The story starts with Jim Halsey, played by C. Thomas Howell, who's driving across the country to deliver a car. On the way, he picks up a hitchhiker. Jim, being a nice guy, and he just sees a man he just wants to help. Although he, sa although he says, my mother told me never to do this, I'll bet you as the film goes on, he wished he listened to his mother because the hitcher, whose name, whose name is John Ryder, and he's played by Rutger Hauer, turns out to be a violent sociopath. And when John has Jim at his mercy, I mean a knife to his neck, Jim gets lucky and ends up throwing the hitcher out his car, out of his car, I mean. And you think that could be the end of Jim's troubles, but nope. <laughs> That's only the beginning, cause the, because John finds Jim wherever he goes and taunts him, taunts him merciless, merc with no mercy. Ooh. And Jim feels there's no means of escape because John leaves a kind of leaves a trail of bodies and then and frames Jim for the crimes. And Jim goes on the run, wondering if he's ever going to get out of this. Will he? Well, you're gonna to have to see the movie to find out. I gotta say, this movie was great. It was just a great 80s thriller. Now, I'm really surprised by the review of Siskel and Ebert. They, they bashed this movie non-stop. They compared it to Friday the 13th. How is this even compared to Friday the 13th? Because Friday the 13th films were gory beyond itself. This may be a little bit of a spoiler, but half the time the the gore is not even shown. It's like, it's off camera. I mean, there's blood, but it's nothing like what you see in Friday the 13th. No. Oh, I don't know what film they were watching. I saw something totally different. I could tell that this movie was inspired off Steven Spielberg's 1971 film Duel, also a good movie. But other than that, it pretty much stands on its own. Rutger Hauer was just absolutely terrifying. He really has you shivering whenever he enters the room because you know something's something's gonna happen whenever whenever he just your hair just kind of stands up whenever you see him. Kind of the same feeling you had with Heath Ledger's Joker in The Dark Knight. You get the same here, and Rutger Hauer, whew, he, he portrays it perfectly. Now, I'm not dismissing the other cast. See, Thomas Howe as Jim was also pretty good. He was every bit as good as Rutger Hauer. I mean, he never... I mean, the two just have this scary intensity when they're in a scene together. You just you just kind of get... You're afraid for Jim. And you, you kind of feel bad for Jim, you want him to succeed, there's one scene where Jim's exhausted, he has a gun and he puts it to his neck and he's got to blow, him, blow his brains out and you get the feeling Jim's almost given up and decides not to, it's, that was a very realistic portrayal, I mean, I think that's how most people would feel if they were in his situation. Jennifer Jason Lee was good too, as Nash, yeah, and this movie... This movie was good, and I'm I'm shocked to find out it got a sequel. It's not one of those films that really needed a sequel, but it got a sequel, and spoiler alert, C. Thomas Howell reprises his role in that film, too. I bet you even C. Thomas Howell... I, no, I don't bet. I know. I read up he even regrets reprising his role in that film. And there was a remake in 2007, which I saw little bits of, and... Yeah, this film was going more for Hitchcock, you know. Sometimes not showing the violence could be just as terrifying as showing the violence. Well, the remake does show 
the violence, what you didn't see in this film, you see in that film. I don't know, I only saw bits and pieces, but I prefer this film. It's just a good 80s thriller, and rest in peace, Rutger Hauer, I give it a 10 out of 10. Bye-bye.